can run this system you can run this system uh, with youth teams but also with senior teams in the beginning of the preparation in the summer time because it doesn't matter which level they are they must go through the methodology in order to have uh, basically main to main defense main defense so uh, i i must say to you that i will try to left you this script with much more diagrams uh, then I show you here because we have not time in the end so just I think you must catch details after that drills you can find drills and you can organize drills by yourself so you will have everything in the end of the clinics they will send to you by email or something so take care of details speaking about defense first of all we must understand in the morning session I said that uh, first is individual responsibility how to move in defense defensive stance, parallel diagonal stance, but speaking about defense, uh, a lot of coaches spend time, I remember one time when I was a player, we spent 15 minutes, any, any practice being in defensive stance, doing like this. This, this is a not basketball, definitely. So uh, we must teach our guys to change always defensive stance and sprint, running and being in defensive stance. This is very important and all drills must be pointed on that goal. Uh, you will find here in script uh, also rules, defensive rules for all position. One, two, three, four, five. We really have not time now to speak about everything. So we can start immediately to speak with uh, team defense how to create. First of all, I told you before, uh, scientific research showed to us that we have in basketball 1,000 different moves during basketball game. So first we must start with, with basic body control. Start, stop, turn, lateral moves, forward, backward, all eight di directions. Forward, backward, left, diagonally, right, everything like this. After that, if you want, when you want to build uh, your half court defense, we must take care of defensive transition. Unfortunately, we have no time because defensive transition can be just one topic for two hours. How to organize team in defensive transition. So this is the next step when we speak about, about the defense. After that, on the ball defense. So how to play defense when the player is with the ball, when he is with live ball, with dead ball, or when he used dribble or when he didn't use the dribble. After that, off ball defense, very important for any kind of defense. It doesn't matter if we speak about man to man, zone press or any kind of zone defense of the ball defense is also important and this I call that transition drills because I think three uh, three most dangerous situation in defense are when the point guard is beaten by his opponent and transition from off ball to on the ball defense and opposite so when you guard the player with the ball when he passed the ball immediately you become a player who play off ball defense and opposite when the player with the ball pass the ball and he tried to cut or something like that. So transition off ball to on ball and on ball to off ball is very important because of that you must have spent a lot of time on the practice working on this. Defensive closeouts, of course, like part of defensive rotations, like part of one-on-one -on -one defense, very important for any kind of defense, man-to-man -man zone, zone press. Uh, defensive rebounding, box out and defensive rebounding also can be only one topic. We can speak two hours only about that. Unfortunately, we have no time. I will try to go through the drills and try to put all those demands in the drill. In one drill, more things like before. So try to create something complex. Uh, let's start first. After that, we can speak about team defense, something like pick and roll defense, low post defense, uh, defense against best scorer on position one, two, three, four, five. But this is team tactic and we can speak about team tactic only I, which one I need to s yellow one huh? no one two three four five one two three four five I use this okay so let's go guys first uh, of course this cannot be first drill without the ball without the ball we will try to to cover all moves specifically for defense so let's go one group of the players here is in the short corner next group on the short corner here so let's start to be in defensive stance 
here until this cone, after that running forward, after that parallel stance, and after that running backward. So do the same this way, offensive. You can do the same on opposite side. So moving in defensive stance, let's go, start, let's go, around the cone, after that sprint, after that parallel stance, parallel stance, face on this basket, yes, and after that running, running backward, like this. Okay, and change size after that. Let's go everybody, just slowly because you are not ready for this, but we have defensive stance, running, agility drills. How to stop from lateral moves and to go to the sprinting forward, stop over there, agility, uh, defensive stance and move back this side. Okay, let's do just a couple of times, one side, second side. When you finish one lap, stop, okay? Okay, stani kad dođeš na red. Stani kad dođeš na red, da ne gubimo vreme. Okay, now next step can be to add something more. So, around, when you arrive on the cons, around every cons you must go around. With short step around. Here, here, here. Let's go. Let's go. Outside, short step, agility. This is also good for injury prevention, ankle injury prevention, because in basketball, 90% of uh, injuries in basketball happens on one foot. So when they stop, not when they jump, when they start. Usually when they stop or when players want to make change of direction. So because of that, we must be ready like this, especially in youth program, don't put the tape on the ankles, but work on this every way in order to improve, uh, improve uh, movement. Amplitude of the movement in, in the ankle. Of course, you can change a lot of things, but we start with these moves. If you have the group, if you want to do something more, after that they can sprint on the opposite side of basket, they do the same on opposite side. So it depends on you how many players you have on the court. So, for example, when they finish, they, must do, they can do like this. Okay, stop standing over there. Okay, stop right now. Okay, let's do now everything in defensive stance. Open stance, parallel stance, stance. Now, when you go back here, running backward immediately, let's go to make one acceleration full court and go back outside of the court. Okay, you understand everything? So, practically the same, but when you finish here, acceleration full court, and outside of the court, move back. Okay, let's go just one lap. Stay on side because this is... Defensive stance, guys, not running. Defensive stance, everything. Defensive stance here, defensive stance here, only running backward, yes? And now run forward, stop and go there. Yeah, let's go, next one. Immediately when you finish on the second, first cone, you can start. Let's go, next one, let's go, next one. Now go back and after five minutes, they are ready to play defense without any problem. Let's go, guys. We work on speed, agility, warm-up, and different, move, different moves of the players. After that, they are ready. Okay, let's do right now. When you finish, when you finish this way, now half-court stance and half-court sprint. Okay. Okay. Let's go now. Do the same, but now when you run this way, half-court stance and half-court sprint. Okay? When you go back here, half course slide and half course sprint. Okay, let's go. Now running back. Yes, now stop. Now slide, slide until half court and after that sprint there and go back. If you want that this uh, drill is endurance drill, you can put something like I put on the side, some bench or some hardless. After that, when they move back, they can do some drill some uh, exercise also going back in defense so it can be interesting for them stop stop okay let's move now to use this with one on one game let's make group one uh, two players one ball okay let's go here one ball to me everybody one of the players here in the corner and one in the other corner Please, guy, come here in the middle to help me, please.
So just be on the court and put the ball on the floor, in the middle. Okay. Pass the ball to him. Who is the first? First two players, show me. Okay, go outside of the court, pass the ball to him. Pass the ball to him. Okay, stay on the corner. Stay on the corner. On his sign. When you put the ball on the floor, you sprint around the cone, sprint around the cone, and you try to catch the ball here. Who first catch the ball is offense on this basket. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, do you understand? And after that, when you back, when you back, one player is back on this side, jumping over the hardest. One player is back on this side. Let's do just one jump over the bench and go back. Okay, let's do just one more time. No, no. You just put the ball on the floor. Put first like sign for them, and after that, put the ball on the floor. Okay? Pass ball to him. Be outside. Be outside here on the line. Everybody in the same starting position. Watch for him. Let's go. Give, give them sign with the ball. Who catch the ball? His offense. Of course, this is not defense because he wait for him under the basket. He must put the pressure on the ball immediately on the half court. Don't go down. Now jump and go back. Let's go, everybody. Just one lap and after that we change. He will give you sign. Give them sign with hands or with voice. Of course, you must change the way. Sometimes they will, they will start with your moves, sometimes on sound. So auditive or visual start. You must change everything. Of course, uh, when you start to play one-on-one -on -one defense, you must immediately add some rules in defense. For example, uh, send defensive players on the weak side. It's enough in youth program. If you have three players able to send opponent on weak side hand, you can win the game without any special defense. So, but, but just take care about it. It's not just question, play one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, they are not outside of the court. They are in organized practice, so you must give to them rules. Even in 101, they must have rules. We speak about defense, so more, uh, we speak more about defense. Send him in on the left. He, you are a right-hander, so put him on the left. Okay, you and you, same. Let's go. Pass ball to him first and wait for his sign. Okay, let's go. Now, now we start to build, after that they are ready, we start to speak about methodology, how to build defense. Let's go, let's make group of three players. One, two, and one in the middle. One ball. Let's go, one line, second line, how many? Three, three. So let's go you, three players. One here, one here on the three point line, and one in the middle. Just one ball on three players. Let's go, here, 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 and one in the middle. Okay, let's go, one more. Go on this side, it's Amna Drustran. Let's, let's go. Three groups of three. One in the middle. Okay, one is outside. So now, how to build methodology, met methodology of defense? How to build defense? First, we must teach the players this is about, uh, uh, about on, on ball defense. Offensive player, stay in defense, please. He can take the ball in three positions. He can take the ball overhead. He can take the ball in triple threat position and he can take the ball down ready to drive. So we must explain to the defender how to play defense against every position. This is the start of the ball defense. So when he takes the ball overhead, a lot of players like him right now, they are with extended legs. So I must be lower than him. I must be wide, low with my nose on his chest, with both hands on the ball, try to deflect the ball, but I must be lower than him. This is the only one my goal. So in this situation, I must be here and try to deflect the ball. Because he can beat me only with pivot. So I cannot be like this here. But anyway, I must have some distance and be here, try to, to deflect the ball with two hands. This is the first position. Second position, triple threat for him. On triple threat position, I must be on certain distance because he wants to shoot the ball. He wants to shoot the ball, so my hand must be here. Even if I'm late, it's completely different if I 
take my hands here or here. Because like I showed you this morning, if I, please, if he take the ball, not this hand, this one, because I'm right-hander, even if I, if I don't want to shoot, if I want to shoot from this position, I must do this move. This is enough to miss the shot. Most of the time, this is enough because this is the natural move. The most natural move is like this. If I do like this, so I will miss probably. 90% of the case, I will miss. So in triple threat position, of course, uh, watching this overhead position, I must go a little bit here because from triple threat, moving triple, he can also drive triple threat, passing, driving, and shooting. I must make distance between him and me, but being distance on my head, not like this, a little bit like this. Always, even if I'm here, it's better to take hand here than be like this here and wait for something. Because from this position, I teach my players immediately when they saw defender with both hands here to shoot the ball. This is individual tactic offensively, you know. Hands here, shoot the ball. Hands here, drive. This is the basketball, individual tactic for any kind of, any level of the basketball. Any NBA or mini basket is the same. We must teach our players to watch defender, you know. Next situation is driving situation. So when he moved, for example, from triple threat position to one side, it doesn't matter if you want to drive, I must make retreat step. Again, ready to attack the ball with right hand if he wants to dribble in right hand. This is the mistake is that when he moves the ball, players move like this, just put the ball on the side. So I must be always between ball and basket. So this is not good position. I must be here. Ball, me, basket. Same line. If he moves on this side, I must be here. Ball, me, basket. Not like this and ball here, I'm dead player. I'm, I'm beaten Im immediately in, in this situation. So next situation is when he moved the ball on one side. No, no, just, just, just put here, no, no don't dribble. Uh, a lot of coaches do when he make change to do this jump. This is open. I left to him highway to score. I don't like this. I prefer when he move ball this side. If he move back, I prefer to move this. Why? Because I'm again in front of the ball. So because if I move like this from this situation, I open him highway to score to drive the basket. So after that, please make triple threat and after that move right. I must be here. When he move back in triple threat, I move here. When he move right, I move here. So it's very important to teach the guys in the beginning. Maybe it too looks easy. But believe me, even in EuroLeague, a lot of players make this mistake. Because when he move ball, they are here. When he move on this side, immediately they open space for the, for the player with ball. OK, let's do now with three players, three positions. So I pass the ball to him. You take the ball overhead. I stay like this, just be in triple threat position after that. I'm like this, try to move the ball. I hear, and you pass the ball and go to play the same with him. OK, you understand the drill? Just normal, simple drill for, for that. OK, let's go you. OK, pass to me. You pass to him. Overhead, I'm here, triple threat. I'm jump, move ball, I'm here, you pass the ball and run to him and play, do the same. Okay, and you stay on this side. Okay, let's try to do just, just to show two coaches these fundamentals. Okay, do you understand everybody? No? Stay there on three point light level, pass the ball to him without the ball, just one ball. Let's be over there. Pass ball to him, pass to him. Okay, let's go. Run, close out. Ball up, you are here, triple threat, jump to the ball, ball on the side, retreat step, pass the ball, and you go, you stay here. Okay, you understand? Yeah. Let's go, guys. Just a couple of minutes, we spend more time for that. Echo, stop. Stop. I said when he had the ball overhead, two hands. Two hands, but be lower than him. My nose in his chest, not like this. Okay? You must be lower than him. This is the, your goal. Generally. It doesn't matter which kind of defense you play. First goal is to be lower than offense. It doesn't matter which position you play. Always is the same. Let's go, guys. Just a couple of minutes, and after that, we move. Triple threat. OK, pass ball to him, and go you to play. Go you to play. OK, you can play with four players. Stay over there, now you play. It's the same, you know. Let's go. You pass the ball. OK, be here. Pass ball to him and go you in defense now and you are in offense again. Do the same here. Do the same. Up, up, down. 
Do you understand, guys, what we need to do? Okay, let's go to the next step. Of course, we cannot, we can stop here. Next level is to play defense against dribble. This is methodology from mini basket. But like I said before, you must go over those drills also with senior team. Next situation is when I pass the ball, just two groups. I will just show to coach that you don't need to do anything. So when I pass to him, I'm going to make close out. You make free position, one, triple threat. I'm jumping now, try to dribble. I'm stop you here, and we are finished. This is the, this is the next drill. So how to stop after the drill? Just do this one time. Just this group, wait for them, you know, okay? This is the dribble defense. And stop here. One detail, one, one more detail here. Stay here. When he has the ball over the chest, take the ball. When I attack the ball, I attack ball from this side, okay? Run, sprint. When offensive player took the ball under hips, take the ball down, I put like this. So ball here, I play like this. Ball down, I play like this. So this is different position, different hand position depending on the level of the ball. Okay, just one detail. Let's try to do one more time this and we immediately skip to the next drill. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's do just one more time. So free position, overhead, triple threat, triple threat first. Triple threat, and after the dribble, two dribbles and stop. Okay, they cannot do on the right side. Next situation. Next situation. Let's go, everybody here. Where is my assistant? Please come here. Next situation after that is transition from on ball to off ball. Okay, let's go. You pass ball to me. We do the same. Let's do the same. I'm driving here. Now, when I pass the ball to coach, you must jump to the ball. No, no, jump to the ball, you guard me. Not like this, because I will do backdoor cut. You must fly when ball fly. So immediately take, take the ball, you be in offense, please. So when I stop him, when he pass immediately, I must jump to the ball. I must be maybe one third distance from him to the ball. Because ball can score, not player, without the ball. So my first goal, is here to be ready to help maybe if he drive on this side. If I'm too close here, I cannot help on him. Okay, if I'm too high here with leg on the passing line, he will go back door cut. So when he receives the ball, pass the ball to him, make dribble slowly just. When he pass the ball, so watch now, for example, ball is here, I'm here. When he move the ball, I'm here. When he pass the ball, I'm ready, I'm jump to the ball. Same situation, offense, defense, uh, low post, high post, one third distance from my player guarded by me. Now let's do this. After the pass, after the pass, you can play normally, one on one. You can do this cut, everything. And after that, when you finish, guys, who catch the ball? It doesn't matter if you're offense and defense. You play one on one this basket, and go back, jump over the hardless over there, and go back here in the beginning. Okay, let's go. So immediately you must put half court defense because just on in one quarter of court is not enough. Let's go, let's go. Let's make group one, to, uh, one ball, two players. Pass to him, close, be in front, stop. You can see now, he take the ball on this side and defender was here. It's not good. Ball, me, basket. Always same principle. Okay, try to jump in front. When he move, you move. Let's go again. Of course, if they do this every, every day, it will be much better. Demonstration is not so good, so drills look very simple. But they are not so simple. In front, jump to the ball. Now we play. Stop, stop. We play one on one. So he, you cannot let him to receive the ball like this. OK, let's go backdoor cut. Let's go backdoor cut. I move in this side. Let's go. To receive the ball on this side, I must play defense here. I must deny defense. I don't need to receive, let him receive the ball. Okay, play normally defense. I'm not interested about backdoor cut. Okay, your first job is when he passes the ball, don't let him receive. Don't worry about here. Here is a help, big guy who will stop him. Okay, let's go one more time. Let's go, guys. You are sleeping today. Let's go. Drive in front of him, pass, jump to the ball. Okay, normally one on one. Immediately attack him, 
Okay, let's go. Who catch the ball? What offense? Let's go. You play defense this half court. Of course, starting to play one on one on the side. Jump over the hardless and go back. Stop, guys. Immediately when you start to play one on one, every single one on one drill, you must think about team defense. For example, push side defense. We must insist immediately on one on one on push side. For example, if you want to play push side. Okay, rule for defense. Don't let him drive in the middle. Push side defense. We start from one on one in order to build five on five defense after that. Okay, let's go. Same principles on one on one like in five on five. Pass the ball, jump to the ball. He didn't jump to the ball, immediately back door cut. You can see bad example, good example of bad defense. And of course, after that, box out, uh, offensive rebound, box out, and one on one on this side. Of course, if you have some coach more, they can, they can play one on one plus coach on this direction. It's up to you to decide. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. It's too late. Jump to the ball. Okay, we have no time. Next level. Stay here, please. Let's go. Everybody here. Everybody here. Next situation is transition on ball, off the ball, defense with cut on the same side. So let's go you and you. Let's go you, everybody behind me, please. So now, you guard me, please, just to show. So he guard player with the ball, you must be in front of me. When I pass the ball to him, you, you have three options, defensively. First, bad option, let's go be you in offense. Be you in offense. Pass the ball to pass to him. Bad first option is when defender watch him. You can do whenever you want. Front door cut, back door cut, whenever you want. Second option, pass ball to him. That defense jumps to the basket. Smart player will be go here and go back and shoot the ball. And I'm not ready to help on this position. And third option, good option for defense, when you pass, jump to the ball immediately. So try to do this. And after that offensive player, when you do, don't let him go in front of you. So no face cut, you go to run this way, you follow him and you go in the corner, pass the ball to them in the corner, same situation, one on one from corner. So one on one, on ball, off ball transition with cut on the, on the ball side. Let's go. Jump to the ball. He didn't watch absolutely the player with the ball, defender, go back. So when you receive the ball sometime, try to drive. Okay. okay. Let's go, drive. So you can see that he, can, he didn't see him. He do everything, but he didn't see him. Abek, you must watch ball. Ball and your player. Because ball can score, like I said before, not player without the ball. This is the first goal. Let's go. No front cut, no front cut. Just fake and go back. You cannot, don't let him to go in front of you. This is one on one, but thinking about team defense, we have four players on the help side or free players, so he cannot go in front of me. If he go to make backdoor cut, there is a player on the help side who can jump and help. Let's go one more time, please. Same, same, same. This is the methodology. Of course, you will see after that if they don't do it correctly right, right now, you must repeat, nothing to do. Okay, let's go, next step. Same players, please. Now, when you pass the ball, when you pass the ball, jump to the ball, jump to the ball, not like this. You must be in the flat triangle position, not like this. So you must be in flat triangle position, but not in this situation, like this. Okay. So now we do, pass the ball to me, guard me. You can start with this situation, with this, with this. Pass the ball, I'm going here, he cover me. I'm going now to cut on the help side. You must stop here. So after that, we start to play one-on-one. -on -one. If I'm going to make flash cut, you must deflect the pass, and we play normally one-on-one -on -one only when the offensive player is, is in the corner, okay? Let's go. Now we teach the players to stay on the, in the middle on the help side. Let's go. No face cut, watch the ball, watch the ball, watch the ball, now play, yes, now play. So you can see how many defensive details. Jump to the ball, Defense against cut, help side defense, close out, and one on one. Five or six things just in one simple drill. One more time, change offense defense. 
No? You must see the ball. So you didn't see the ball. Uh, here we have two techniques. Some coach, pass the ball to him, please. Some, co some of coaches prefer, let's go cut, to do this way in front of him and when he moves to stay here on the side. Some coaches, please go back, do the same. Pass the ball to him. Some coaches prefer when he moves under the level to move in that way. You can choose. I cannot say this is the better. If some, if uh, opponent team play a lot of back screens, this second way is much better. Because if he pass the ball, do it again, please. If he pass the ball, if I'm going in that way, stop. I'm easy target for back screen. I cannot see. But please make back screen. Pass the ball to him, just slowly. So watch like this. I cannot see I'm easy target for back screen. Second option is pass the ball to him. If I'm doing like this, let's go. I can go inside and I can go to play against back screen. So it's up to you to decide. I cannot say this is the better or, or not. OK, let's do next thing right now. Now, when you go to do the same, now you shoot the ball. When there is on this side, box out and play one on one on this basket. Just once. Go everybody outside. Same, same, everything. He will shoot the ball. Stop. Stop. No, look. Pass the ball to me. Let's go again. It's too late. So it's too late. He must go be ready to help. Of course, all good helps comes here in the limit of the, of the paint area. So he must stop me over there. So be ready. Take care of that. Don't do it just to show to coach. Let's go just one, one more time. Stop here. Yes, now he's ready. Go out. Oh, because of drills, you must go outside. Stop, stop. You must go outside. It's too easy for you now to score. Oh, so go, go outside completely. Wait for his position and after that skip pass on the opposite side. Be ready. Yes, go back. You can pass. So this is the difficult situation. Stop again. No middle drive. Immediately mistake. Of course, they cannot catch everything right now. But you as a coach, you must stop always if you want to assist on push side defense. Sorry, players, this is the rule. It doesn't matter if this is Kobe Bryant or I don't know who here. This is the rule. You must respect the rule. One more time, no middle drive. So when you drive, pass ball to me and I will make skip pass. Okay. okay, let's go. Watch the ball. Stop the ball. Okay, when he pass, move back, move back, and now you start to play. No, dream, no middle. So now you can see, after two repetitions, he starts to do something. Okay, so this is the much better. So this is the how to build defense with just one-on-one -on -one players. Let's try to do here some mini basket, but also for senior players, uh, speed reaction, one-on-one -on -one drill. Let's go, everybody. Two players with the ball here. I don't need you right now. So let's go here, back to back. Put the ball behind. Hand here. Extend on my sign, catch the ball and play one-on-one -on, -one on this basket. How you want. It's speed reaction drill, one on one. Let's go. Play one on one. Rule is no middle drive. Let's go. Let's go. Next group, guys. Let's go. Just we want to play a little bit. Extend, extend. No middle, no middle. Take him on this side. Take him on the left side. Let's go. Let's go, next one. Always you must change with half court and full court defense. Don't watch me. Close eyes. No defense. This is a not defense. You know, you as a defense must attack offense. You must dictate something to defense. To off to the offense. What in this moment? Put him, push him on the weak side, don't let him drive in the middle. This is a not defense when I just going under and under, I finish under the basket. So you must stop immediately, this is not good execution. Of course, I'm not their coach, but this is not good. If it's not good, we will do just one drill for one hour. Sorry. Okay, next option is back to back again. Put the ball here, hands down. 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 Okay. 
watch to me, everybody. Let's go. Just on my move, you know. If I move just hand, just do one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go. Try to push him on the side. No middle drive. Let's go. Next, next group. No, just watch me. I will move like this. Put hands down now. Ball up, hands down. Down here. You watch me? So always change. Always try to change something. Can be also, for example, start from this position and play one one on this basket. Let's do like this. Because of intensity of the practice. Do the same, but after that change and play one one this direction. Okay? Do the same and after that go back this side. Let's go. Because of that, we must have them a group one hour before to prepare drills. Box out, box out, no box out. Three times I didn't say box out, nobody box out. Sorry. We must insist. It's our job. Unfortunately, after 200 repetitions, maybe, maybe they will catch. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's move now on positioning in two against two. Of course, you cannot run drills like me. Two seconds and change. This is demonstration. This is not practice. For me, they will be on the first drill, half an hour minimum to make every correction. Okay, guys, let's go here. I need one passer and one big guy here. You are coach now, okay? You stay here on the side. Let's go. Two offensive players, be you in defense, be you in defense. Stay here, stay here. Let's go. Two guys, one here and one there in the corner. You are offense. We teach the guards on the help side how to make rotation. We start with this simple drill. So just one ball. Move the ball out. Ball start here. In this, when the ball is over there, you are in position on the flat triangle. Two passes away. You are two. Not here in the line with him. This is the passing line. You are one or two steps under. Here, you must to check your man and ball. If you do it like this, in NBA or in Euroleague, Rudy Fernandez dunk immediately. Okay, so if you do like this, flash cut in the middle. So you must be one or two steps under the passing line, ready to help, ready to receive the ball, and ready to see your man. Let's start from this way, be on the low post. So pass ball to him. So you go to trap, just control him. In this moment, this is not good position. So in this moment, no. He must be on the level on the lowest player. You must be here. Because same situation. If you are like this, you cannot see him and you cannot see him. If you are like this, you can see him, but you cannot see him. So you must be on the level on the last offensive player on the help side. You must be here, okay? And now you just fake trap. You pass the ball to this guy. You run on him, and you run to play on him, and after that we start to play two against two, okay? Just slowly. We are slowly, don't pass the ball if they are not in correct position, okay? Just slowly, just pass to him, nothing else. Okay, this is the first option. Let's go. Pass to him, double, pass, 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 let's go. And now we play two against two. Immediately, same situation like before. In 101, no middle drive. So we want to take them because, like I said before, it's very tough for defense when ball moves from one to the other side. You, you must be effective. So don't move too much. If you just play on this side, it's too easy for you when they move the side. Okay, to be easier, pass the ball back to him and you pass to, to him, okay? Let's go, play, pass to, pass to me. Okay, pass first to me and you pass to this guy. Okay, just slowly. After two minutes, those drills can run good. Now it looks very bad, but let's go again from the beginning. Okay, let's go. Stop him, pass ball back, pass to him, and now we start to play. Play normally one-on-one, -on -one. stop. Immediately mistake. Go back. Ball is over there. Pass the ball to him. You are now on the first pass. Okay, you don't need to be here. You must be here. One third from your man ready to help. Don't let him receive the ball. You are on the first pass. This is the shooter. He can kill you from the corner. Okay, let's go again.
Try to close. Yes, deny defense, no middle, play two against two. No middle, box out, box out. Okay, okay. Next option. Do the same, same team in defense because you are already good. So when he trapped to you, you go back. Now you pass the ball to him, you run on him, and you run on him. Normal X rotation because always player from the help side must go to the pass. Same situation with against uh, every trap. Okay, let's go. Pass the ball to him. Be on the level. Pass in the corner. In the corner. Let's sprint, sprint, and we play one on one. No middle drive. No middle drive. No middle drive. Yes, very good. No, you are coach. You are coach. You are here. Nothing for you. He feels free, so he wants to score. <laughs> Let's go one more time. Box out. Corner. Sprint. Sprint. No, no middle. No middle. No middle. No middle. So you can see how many problems immediately offense have when you push in the middle. Of course, after that, you can add something more. For example, they, play, they can play pick and roll. They can play hand off. It doesn't matter what you want. Depends of you. But everything can start from this position. Okay, let's try to do just one more time. When you receive the ball, okay, when you receive the ball, you go to make screen and you play pick and roll with him. Okay? Of course, not in under 12, in under 14 teams, but under 16, why not? Under 16, under 18, immediately you can play also with pick and roll. Okay, do you understand? Let's go, go back. Let's go, sprint, now pick and roll. Now depends which kind of defense you want to play against pick and roll, but this is the next topic, maybe for next year, because we have six or seven ways how to play pick and roll, pick and roll defense. Okay, next drill, two against two. You go out, let's go you in defense again. Okay, let's go you here, you go out. You start from this position here, you start here. So you go in the middle, or yeah, I will be. Next drill is very dynamic drill, very good. Go out. So pass the ball to him and sprint to your man. Pass the ball to me and sprint to your man. When I receive the ball, immediately backdoor cut and you go to receive the ball. So very dynamic drill, close out. Uh, deny on the first pass, help on the second pass, two against two, half court defense. Okay, do you understand everything? Okay, full sprint. Okay, when you receive the ball, when you pass, immediately cut. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Go immediately. No, no, when he arrived. You pass to him and he pass to me. You pass, when you receive, you pass to me and after that you cut. No, no, back door cut. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. So, no defense, immediately. You can see that he didn't watch the ball. One more time, same defense. Sorry, but you must play a little bit in defense today. No problem for you? Huh? No problem? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pass to him, pass to me. So, let's go. Now we can, again, no look on the ball. So, stop and play again. Okay, let's go one more time. Next option. It's now. If you want to play this drill, you can run also with senior teams. Now, when you cut, okay, you go to receive the ball here. Goodbye. Watch me, not outside. So when you receive the ball and you cut, go on this way, you play handoff with him. Okay? So he make backdoor cut, you go here, go back, and you play handoff collaboration here. Same for you. No switch. No switch, play normal defense. Let's go. Hand off immediately, so hand off for pick and roll whenever you want. Same rule, no middle drive, no middle drive, stop, stop. Of course, we cannot speak about good defense without good offense. Take the ball here, be, be on defense just to show to coaches he was with the ball. That's right, so he start to dribble on your, or your side. Your pos what, you, what you must do? Huh? You don't know? What he must do if he starts to dribble here? Where? Uh, of course, this morning session, drive and kick. So, if the player from this side try to dribble here, cut or stay wide, but definitely don't go to him. If he drives this way, you move this side because he will go there, because this 
uh, this move is completely opposite of defensive rotation move opposite direction okay let's go one more time please be faster here uh, please put me four cones there 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 and there no middle stop why you come to stop stop why you come here it's better to play one on one or two against two so if you cannot receive the ball depends of you coach i i don't like my five players here rule is if i cannot take the ball over there you play defense on me pass the ball to him please if i cannot receive the ball one meter from the three point i'm finished i must go over there Okay, because after that, with good defense, they will receive the ball on the half court. What can they, what they can do from this side? Nothing. And okay? What? Don't worry. Okay, let's go one more time. One more time, do the same. Super. Yes, yes, this is open play. Let's go. Stay there on the help side. Don't let him receive the ball. No middle, no middle. Jump to the ball, jump to the ball. Okay, not bad. Jump to the ball. No middle, no middle. Let's go. No middle. Box out, box out. Not bad. You can see after five minutes they catch something, you know. So it's not so bad. Let's go one more time. Two defenders, new drill. Please, guys, go out. You on this side, you in the corner. Defender here, defender here. Go out, everybody. Next, very dynamic drill. So you and the player in the corner, you are offense, you are defense. So we start in that way. I pass the ball to him, uh, I'm running to this cone. You pass to him and you run to this cone, diagonally. You pass to him and you run this cone, you pass to me and you run on this side. And after that, ball is going over there and he will start to play offense. Let's try to show slowly. Do you know drill or not? No, diagonally. This way, this one, around this. Okay. You, after that, when you receive the ball from him, your teammate will be on this side. You pass to him and you go to run around this cone. And same passes over there, same passes over there on the half court. Do you understand? Let's try to do slowly. Okay, pass and run, pass and run, pass to him and run, pass to him and run, run. No, 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 stop. Pass to him, pass to him. Pass to him, and now we play two against two. Very dynamic drill, very good. Of course, after that you can play or just give and go or hand off or pick and roll or push side defense. You must define the goal, but just I want to show you drill. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go from the beginning. When you receive the ball on this side, play normally two against two, okay? Let's go, let's go. Full sprint, full sprint, full sprint. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Full sprint, pass. Pass, pass, okay, let's go, play, jump to the ball, jump to, no middle, no middle, no middle, no middle, jump to the ball, jump to the ball, no middle drive, jump to the ball, no middle, no middle. So they switch, they mix everything. You must dictate what they want to play. Three middle drives and they switch, I don't want this. So it's up to you to decide. One more time, please. Let's change offense, defense. Let's put a little bit players in offense. Defenders. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Diagonally, diagonally, yes. Pass to him, pass to him. Let's go. Don't let him drive in the middle. Jump to the ball. No middle. So some can ask if it's happened, what they go in the middle. Foul. This is the regular, regularly make foul. Why not? One more time. Same. Rules, you must make the rules. It doesn't matter who is the player on the court, they should respect your rules. This is your coaching philosophy. If they broke the rules in the first execution, nothing for you, you are finished as a coach. Let's go. Pass, 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 quickly, 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 play defense, stay on the help side, no middle. You can see, no defense. He didn't press him, he let him drive, okay. Let's go. Next drill, three against two. Let's do two more players. Let's go, you and you. Let's go in the corner. One offense, one defense. One player here, offense, defense. And one there, offense, defense. 
Let's go. Play defense on him. Play defense on him. So next drill, simple. Uh, I didn't say, but it's normally. If you have 12, 14, 16 players on the court, of course, you will not play only half court. After two against two here, full court two against two this way. So intensity, because in this way, of course, this is demonstration, but you cannot take the practice. I watch right now Norwegian national team. Sorry, but two players with the ball and five players staying like this. This is not good practice. After half an hour, everybody dry. This is not basketball. You know? So it must be, must be intensive pra basketball practice, always. OK, let's do right now. Be on the position, be on the ball. Deny, deny, deny. So if you stay like this, pass the ball to him. You will come here and he will beat you. Don't let him receive. Like I said before, same principle. Pass the ball to him. You are one pass away from the ball. One third from him, ready to help. You too. A little bit more to him. OK. Now we start to run drill like this. You pass the ball to him, let him receive the ball, and you cut here. Don't let him come in front of you. And you move this side. It's continuation drill. So when you, let's do one more time. Pass the ball to him. Pass the ball to him, cut. You go up. When he passed the ball to him, you cut. No, no, you are in the corner. You are in the corner over there. You cut here. OK? okay. After that, when he moved here, you move on this side. Pass the ball to him. Cut. You go up. Pass the ball to him. Cut. You move here. So continuation. You can see how many details in defense we have. Coach Messina and Greg Popovich, they like to use this drill. It's very good. Why? Which kind of, def of defense we have? Here, on ball defense. Here, then I defense on first pass. Here, then I defense on first pass. Pass the ball to him. Here, face cut. Face cut. Move there. Here, flash cut. Pass to the corner. Again, face cut, flash cut from this side. So a lot of things to do. On your sign, they can start to play free against free normally with free against free on opposite basket, for example. So, but it's up to you to decide the moment. Let's try to do just one more time. So when I clap hands, you can start to play normally free against free. Okay, let's go. Pass, try, stop. Fundamentals again, go back. Pass to me, play aggressive defense. Play aggressive defense on me. So you cannot pass the ball like this. Pass to me. Left hand, one step away from defense. OK, let's go. Let's go. Jump to the ball. Yes, not bad. Jump to no face cut. Yes, watch the ball. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Stop. 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 This is the next situation. Stay there. Typical game like. Stay there with the ball. Stay there with the ball. You are here. So when he drives on this side, you must go to help. You are the last man. You must close him here. And you, you must go over there. Try to drive. So you must close him here outside. You must go down to cover this man. When he pass the ball to him, you move back and you move back on your man. OK, let's go start from this position. This is the next drill, continuation of this drill, defensive rotation. OK, let's go. Drive, drive, stop, stop. You must go. You are the last man in defense. So in this situation, when he starts to drive, when he goes to help, like I said before, you must be on the level of the last man here. When he moves back, you go back to your man and you back to your man here. OK, let's go one more time, guys. They look that they never do this. I don't know what's happened. Go back and now we play normally. Yes, this is good position. Let's go play normally one on one. Play normally. Okay, change offense, defense. Change offense, defense one more time and we can we switch. Yeah, just, uh, drive. Yes, yes, just drive. Let's go one player on this side, this way. Stay on the help side. You are on the help side. You must close him in the end of the paint area. Okay, go down. Let's go. Be ready. Stop. Typical mistake. He watched the ball. He didn't saw what's happened. He didn't saw his man. 
Next drill is practically the same, but similar. Start from this position, two players on the side, free throw line extended. Let's go here in the middle, top of the key. Who got me? Who got him? Let's go, it doesn't matter. So, drill start like this. Pass ball to him, you jump, you just stay. Now, let him drive on the side. You stop him here, you go down, okay? You move ball over there, you go back, you move on this man, pass ball to him, and then we start to play free against free, okay? I don't attach because the table you're ready. Just stay on the place because it's defensive drill. So he must stop. Stop, not good, you can see him. You must control him. It's free against free. Of course, in five and five situation, you will have two players more on the help side. But if they are ready to play free against free, it will be easy for them after that with two players more. How many minutes I have? And, okay, two minutes more. Let's go. Let's go, stop him. Pass the ball, pass the ball, stop, stop. You must jump now to the ball. Ball is over there. You must be here. When the ball is over there, you must be here. It's the same situation like in the beginning. Let's do one more time, please. Go down, go down, go back, go back, go back. Yes. Now it's not so bad. So you can see now, in the end, they must score from three points. So this is the typical defensive rotation in three against three. Okay, after that, just to finish, you have a lot of things doing on four on four, shell situation. Let's go four players in the offense and two more players here, please. Let's be you in offense a little bit. All practice, you are in defense. With defense? Okay, Just be in defense here, be in defense, one more player in defense. So, methodology of building team defense with shell is first just passing. Okay, pass, jump to the ball, jump to the ball, pass back. Pass back, jump to the ball, jump to the ball, corner pass. So this is the first. Let's go, back. Next situation with diagonal passes. Let's go. You can pass diagonally. Pass diagonal, you can pass in the corner. Jump to the ball, big man is too late. Immediately, you know, situation is like I say you before. When ball fly, he must fly. Pass the ball to me, please. Typical mistake is pass diagonal pass. He watch and after that go. No, pass go ball back, pass on this side. Pass ball back please. So together with the ball I must be here. Sprint, not stance. So from this position, like I said before, sprint I push with outside leg and I'm here in, on help side position. Pass ball to him, I'm here, okay? Okay, let's do just one more time, please. Jump, 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 jump to the ball. Let's go pass, move with the ball. Everybody with the ball, everybody with the ball. Okay, next situation is change of, change of position and the ball moves from this side. So, when you pass the ball here, just change, change position with him. In this situation, when the ball is over there, you must be here. You jump to the ball, you go in the middle, you know? Let's go, just pass the ball and change side. Change side, stop. First mistake. Oh guys, very bad execution today. Go back please, go back please. Go back on the starting position. Pass ball to him. So, when he passed the ball to him, my first job is to go this way. He move this, you come here in the middle. Okay, you don't go here, you cannot see the ball in that way. You understand? So jump to the ball, first, first rule for everybody. Let's go, let's go. Jump to the ball, big, no, no, no. Jump to the ball and you can, you must see the ball, you go in the middle and you go through. Again, jump to the ball, yes, you go through, pass the ball, change side, you two, change side, you two, pass the ball, change side, Pass the ball, change side, so after that you can run everything like this. Okay, next situation is when the player from this side uh, make uh, dribble entry. So I'm going this way, you everybody just change side. Just change side, we change position, and after that you pass, you pass and we can play. Okay, let's do just one more time, please. 
One player in the corner, one player in the corner. Let's go, everybody here. When you receive the ball, just go to dribble. Change side. Okay, change side, everybody move. Everybody move. And now we can play because we have now ball start. Okay, on four and four, you can see now how many mistakes they made. Jump to the ball, jump to the ball. Just, it was very bad execution, unfortunately. So, rule must be, when the ball is over there, pass the ball to him. So, two players on the help side, they must be with, in paint area. And the ball is over there, you must be here. Go. So, you must be here. Pass the ball to the corner. You are here, you are here. So, always when the ball is on this side, they must be with, with feet inside. If they are not inside, this is not good helping position. Unfortunately, we didn't run around through the old drills, but you will have Torquild, I will let you my script with much more drills because we have no time to show everything. But just to repeat, we start with basketball moves. So defensive stance, combination of stance and running. Stance, running forward, stance, running backward. After that, methodology how to play on ball defense with three positions. Ball over the head, triple threat position, ball low, ready to drive. After that, we use uh, dribble defense, dribble, uh, defense against dribble. After that, when he passed the ball in the corner, jump to the ball, defense against backdoor cut and face cut. After that, defense against help side cut. After that, box out and one on one. After that, same situation with two players. So um, I know that is, uh, this demonstration was very bad, I must say. Uh, all drills, if you do it every day, and I think a lot of Drills from today session you must do every day. Maybe five minutes, ten minutes, but every day because must become automatic everything in defense. It doesn't matter after that which kind of defense you want to play. This is the foundation for every single defense. Not only man to man, also zone defense, zone press defense, everything. After that, you must find and develop drills depending on the mistakes of your players in defense. Attack mistakes and stop always when you saw something wrong. So you will find in script uh, much more drills. Uh, we have no time, and of course, it's not so easy also for them to catch all information in the beginning. They are, I'm guilty, not them, because maybe I didn't adapt my, my drills to them, but always coaches are guilty. But uh, I hope it's useful for you. I'm sure that you know a lot of things, but repeat again and repeat step by step, do with the right methodology. It's what we must do every day. It doesn't matter if we start, like I say in the beginning, with mini basket or if we play with senior team on the first day on preparation. They must do the same. Believe me, I, I was happy to see uh, four summer preparations of best European coach of Željko Bradović and Ettore Messina. Both of, them, both of them start with this drill every single summer during the preparation with Panathinaikos, with CSKA Moscow. First, Two weeks, believe me, 45 minutes every day like this with Diamantidis and company. So why don't use other experience? We don't need to find cold water. A lot of people find that before. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, boys. And I hope it was useful for you. It's foundation, but it's good. Without good foundation, we cannot go to build house. Thank you very much again.